when we're doing this one, you know that there's always different ways to solve it, right? But here is the way that I would approach this if, and hopefully this helps. So I would just first get, do the task of getting the information there. And I am just going to stay in normal. I'm not going to cancel out anything at this point. Actually, let me see your instructions. It doesn't say to cancel out anything. But you know what? Actually, I am. I'm going to start with no spacing. Okay, and then I'm going to... I'm just starting with single spacing and no paragraph spacing, and then I'll put it in. That's why I changed to no spacing right at the beginning. Okay, so you have to look at this and type it just straight down in one uh, single column at this point. So I'm going to type in Illustrator and Enter, and I'm going to type in Subhead and Enter. And now I need some lorem ipsum text, so type in equals lorem one paragraph, I think I'm going to say three sentences, and Enter. And now I have that. And at this point, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to copy it with a control C and then I'm going to go to the next line and I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to type Photoshop because I'm following the order on the page enter I'm going to paste once and paste twice and then my next major heading is AutoCAD so I'm going to type that in and then enter and now I'm going to paste and paste and now I have done the first job this is just the content and the next job is the appearance so uh, we know that all right I'll do this how it's asked for so Calibri 18 whoops Okay, so we put that in. You can see that we have a paragraph box around here. Okay, and so it spans across the whole thing there. Now, Illustrator. So at this point here, uh, we need to make three columns. And there's a few ways that we could do it. Right? I could, I, you can see on your handout that I clearly have a section break here. And I could go and put that in myself if I want. But you also may remember that I can also do page layout and go straight to columns and skip the break because if I do that, if I come here and do this point forward, and say three and I want the line between and I say okay that process puts in and let me just show it it puts in the section break for me so that's probably the fastest thing to do and because I don't have anything past these three columns I'm not worried about I'm not worried about changing something after it. So this is a very easy example. Okay, so I have my three columns. Now, it helps me to think of that word. It handles the columns as though they're new pages. And the reason that I say that is because we need to get Photoshop up to column two. And when we go to breaks, you see how it calls it a page break here. This is the one we want, a column break, and it begins in the next column, but they call it a page break. So it, it helps me to think of this, the second column is like a new page. So now we've put Photoshop up to the second column. Then we can go to AutoCAD, put the insertion 
point right before it, do another sort of page column break, click that, and now we've got our basic layout uh, here. And then after this, you know, you just want to work smart. Now I know this gets centered, but I'm just going to come in here. So uh, Illustrator, I'm going to put a bottom border. I'm going to put that underneath Photoshop and underneath AutoCAD. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one and it says that it's centered and that it's orange and that it's Calibri 12 and that it's bold. So I've done that and it's selected. So double click my Format Painter and do that one and that one. And th yep. I didn't have any other text in that paragraph so therefore it just does that entire paragraph. If I only wanted to put it on a piece of something in the middle of a paragraph, then I need to drag across. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to come and do the subheads. Now, probably I could have done that right at the beginning before I copied and pasted that. That would have saved me a step, but that's okay. So subhead, Calibri 11, bold, italic. You get that one done, double click the Format Painter and just go and finish those. Turn that off. And then I'm going to come here. I will select this text and put it into a bullet. And then you can see up here that I have my first line indent moves the bullet. Correct? Do you remember that? And if you look at your handout, you can see that I have the bullet flush with the S in subhead. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this back over here, and I'm going to pull the hanging indent right, yeah, right about there. Looks good. And then I'm going to double click my Format Painter and finish the rest of them. Okay, and that's centered, and turn that off and have a look. And there we go. Now I do see one thing is that I do not have a space. Do you see on our handout? I don't have a space between. Now this could get interesting. I'm going to and I should have caught that because this is why I find blocking it in is much easier <laughs> because I could have put that space, but I don't have it. So actually that's okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to see if I can do the paragraph spacing after this. And I can. So there, that's how I fixed it. That's actually a good way. I didn't really want a blank line. I keep telling you, you have more control without blank lines because you can do it with your paragraph spacing. So that's how I did it. Okay. Does that make sense? Are there any questions before I cut this video off that would be good information in here? The space after, I just put my cursor into this line of text. And, and if I do it on the page layout ribbon, it means that I can see it happening. And that's what I'm talking about why the paragraph spacing is more flexible because you can see what you're getting and do the design. Whereas when you put in blank lines, the blank lines are a certain font size. It, this is just much, much cleaner. I don't believe it said. Okay, so what what I could have done to make it even better is if I pick this one, you can see there's space before it. So if I come here and put the space before this line, and there's a little bit after, right? Now not as much after because you always want to 
keep the block of text that belongs to the title not so far apart that they look like two different entities. So the space after, I have six before it. I'm just going to try two, enter. And, and that looks good. And so now, again, if I go and use my Format Painter, it should now, you see, it just fixed all the spacing for the rest of it.